Hello wonderful people, I am Vishwa and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this Playground AI tutorial, I will demonstrate an amazing Playground AI feature that allows you to control the image generation known as control traits. So if you are new here and haven't watched my Playground AI playlist, be sure to click the i button or check the video description for links and support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel without further delay, let's get started. So I have already opened the PlaygroundAI.com website. I have provided the link in the description. You just click on that link and it will take you to this website. After coming to the website, you have to just sign up with your Google account. This is so easy. At the right hand side, just click on this small arrow. Here you can see board and canvas. We are going to use the board. We are using board because we can't change the model in the canvas. So at the left bottom, if you just scroll down, so here you can see control traits. So this is the feature we are going to learn today. Control generated images, traits like edges, depth and pose. Just click on this add control. Yeah. So here you can see control trait. Upload image. Here you can just upload your reference image. And here if you just click on this arrow. So here you can see the different control traits. Age, depth and pose. We can use one of the control trait. And here you can see the settings for that particular control trait. Now we will just start with the pose. Here I'll just select the pose. And now I'll click on the upload image. We will upload the image. Open. And here you can see the image is uploaded. And if uh, if you can see, just click on this. After clicking on this, we, we can see the skeleton of that image. So I'm just clicking control and ta tap on the mouse pad. And here you can see open in new tab. So can you see? So this is the skeleton structure of that image. Uh, so what pose does? It just copies the pose. Like you can see, this is our image and this is the skeleton reference of that image, which is copying the pose. Pose uh, only works with the people. It doesn't work with animal, landscape or objects. So this is the pose setting, control weight, which starts from 0, 0 till 2. You can see. We'll make it 0 0.7, okay? Just go up. And here the filter we are going to use, lush illumination and the prompt. I'll just copy paste the prompt, then uh, exclude from image. I'll go with custom and I will paste here the negative prompt. I will provide the negative prompt in the description and all the prompts you can just check the description. So negative prompt pasted. Like we can't use image to image and control traits at a time. That's why this is disabled. And the pose we have selected weight we have given 0 0.7. At the right hand side the model we are using playground v1. Control traits doesn't work with uh, stable diffusion Excel till this date. The image dimension we are going to take is the portrait 512 uh, into 768. Prompt guidance I'll make it 10 and, and 50. Just click here. And the sampler we are going to use Euler A. Which is nothing but Euler Ancestral. And the number of images 3. And just enable the private session. So we have done all the basic settings. You can do the same settings to get the better output. So now everything is done. I'll just click on generate. The prompt is portrait of a woman. Raining analog style. Bouquet. Painted background. Soft lighting. It takes some seconds to generate the image. As you know already. So can you see? This is what we got. This is good. Uh, so it uh, actually copied the pose. So you can see one side pose and one hand in the another hand so likewise we got the output see this pose control copied it very well the quality is not very good but here it's copying the pose you can make the changes in the prompt to make it better if you like this image so you can make it better just click on this actions and we can do the upscale by 4x and this will make this image better just download it so I'll just show you yeah so this is our output this is better than the original one so you can do upscaling or face restorations if you want to uh, use that here you can see face restorations so I have already explained all these features in my detailed playground AI video if you want you can watch that video link in the video description so it's like if the pose is simple so we need to use the less weight and if the pose is complex we need to use the or more weight. Usually 0 0.5 to 1 is the ideal in most cases for post. I'll just change the filter to the delicate detail to make the realistic images. So these are quite photorealistic if you can see it. According to your need you can just generate the images. I'll show you the depth now. What does depth do? 
so adept create the image using the foreground of the image i'll show you here you just click uh, click in here and now just control and tap and open in the new tab so if you are using the windows pc then right click and click on new tab so here it is open you can say yeah this is the depth thing here you can see the white part is the foreground of the image you can see this is the foreground of the image and it is getting uh, darker like this is a quite grayish and then it is getting darker so this is the background and the white most part is the foreground uh, in depth it just focuses on the foreground of the image and create the image based on that we will not understand in this uh, image much uh, but uh, still we'll just try i'll just keep the this weight only 0.7 and now clicking on generate so we are not understanding in this image but still you can see they are focusing on the foreground not on the background what i'll do i'll just change the reference image i'll just uh, click over here to delete this image and upload the image i'll just go with this cat image open so this is the cat image i'll just show you the cat image once yeah so this is the original cat image you can see cat and in the background there is some grass now uh, if i show you the affected part of this so you can see this is the affected part i'll just change the prompt and uh, i will go with delicate detail only generate image of a sitting cat with beautiful blue colored eyes dressed in a stylish coat can you see it just focuses on the foreground of the image which is uh, nothing but the cat you can see this is what we got and this is beautiful see here in this image the foreground part is this and here in the images uh, they have focuses on that you can see now let's try the last control trait that is age so i'm just changing age and in age you can see the setting in setting we have two options a uh, control weight and age threshold i'll just make you this understand firstly i'll just remove this image and upload another one so i'll just take this scenery image i'll go with the control weight 0.7 only and the age threshold initially i'll just make it uh, one can okay, show you just click over here and then just open this image yeah so can you see i have opened this in the new tab i'll just show you the actual image once this is our scenery image it has a lot of things mountain trees jungle you can see that age threshold i have made uh, one and because of that you can see it is just showing the detailing everything is showing in here so if you use the less threshold then it shows the more detailing and if we use the high threshold uh, then it shows the less detailing so this is the uh, threshold value 1 and this is the threshold value around 150 it's showing less detailing and this is showing high detailing uh, how much detailing you want to show accordingly you can adjust this threshold value so i'll just make it uh, control weight 0.7 and threshold value i'll just show you first with 1 and the prompt i will put beautiful scenery mountain sunset forest green forest so it will take the by default aspect ratio of the image I'm just clicking on generate so this is what we got so the detailing is very high you can see the image is not clear if you want you can just upscale it i'll just upscale it and show you upscale by 4x download yeah so can you see this is the image and the detailing you can see the detailing is very good because we are using the one threshold value now what we will do i'll just change the uh, threshold value to 200 to see the drastic difference we need to make it 200 and generate yeah so this is what we got yeah and you can see it doesn't have that much of detailing which we had in that earlier image right you can see this is the old one it has great detailing so i hope you understood i'll just show you one more image one more example image i'm just deleting this upload image 
I'll just add this image or portrait open control width I'll make it uh, 0 0.7 only and edge threshold uh, I'll show you first with 30 uh, I need to change from as well generate I think we need to change the aspect ratio this is very big I'm just deleting this and the aspect ratio I'm going to use 512 by 768 and now clicking on generate portrait of a woman smiling happy blonde blue eyes close up painted background you can you see the detailing the detailing of the cloth after that the hair we can see that uh, curl of the hair after that the wrinkles on this um, top even the eyes and the f each and every feature of the face you can see it is very detailed I'll just make it 200 and uh, randomize just click on here I'm taking three images generate yeah so this is what we got and the image is very shallow you can see there is no detailing you can easily see the different drastic difference right so i have covered all the control traits age pose and depth and i hope you got the difference between all three so i'll just um, revise you once so what does pose do it just copies the pose this is the example okay it creates the skeleton of that particular image after that depth so what does depth do so depth just uh, use the foreground to create the images so the white most part is the foreground and the dark most part is the background you can see and the edges are there uh, to create the detailed image so it depends like uh, what kind of image you want image with a more detail or less detail so likewise you can adjust the threshold here okay I used uh, 0 0.7 weight only you can try out the same and you will get the result we can also use all the three traits in the single image for outstanding results. To explore this further, I'll be posting a separate video. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to show your support by hitting like and subscribe buttons. Click on the left video to watch a detailed playground tutorial and click on the right video to edit your own images with an imaginary attire using playground AI. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.